I can immediately tell if a candidate is going to get an offer, not based on what they're saying, but how the interview is acting during the interview. I have interviewed thousands of candidates throughout my HR and recruitment career, and these are seven green flags to look out for that indicate you are going to get a job offer. Why seven? Because seven is a lucky number and you're going to be lucky too after you finish this video. Let's start with green flag number one. The first great sign to look out for is if the interviewer is going over the allocated time to continue speaking with you. Let's say you are scheduled for a 30 minute interview, but the interviewer continues to ask questions, continues the dialogue, and you're still talking with them for 15, 30, 45 minutes past that 30 minutes. That's a great sign that they like you, they like what they're hearing and feel drawn to you. Because remember, most people don't like to do interviews. A lot of interviewers and hiring managers think interviewing is a chore. They would just rather get back to work. So if they're taking the time to speak with you and voluntarily choose to stay there in that conversation, hear what you have to say, that means there's something about you that could be a good fit for this role. On the flip side though, if your interview gets cut short, if you had a 30 minute slot, but then it gets cut down to 15, 20 minutes, that is not a good sign. That usually means from the intel they already have, they know you're not a good candidate and they wanna move on to other candidates that could be a better fit. And also while the interviewer is talking and talking with you, they're asking you questions, you might notice that their body language opens up. This is the second green flag to look out for. If they started with closed or crossed hands and naturally move them by their side and open up, if they were maybe a little tired and sleepy before the interview start, but you can see them being animated, smiling, maybe even laughing a little bit more. If you saw that they had a pretty stoic and neutral face, but then they lit up when you said some specific skill or story, all of those are good body languages to read out for, meaning this interview is going your way. If it starts feeling less like a formal interview and more like an easygoing, natural conversation, that right there is a win. Good vibes in your interviews is always a great sign. Sometimes you don't even have to guess if you're doing well, the interviewer will tell you. That's sign number three when they give you positive feedback and reinforcement during the interview itself. Because if they start saying things like, oh hey, that's a great skill you picked up there. Can you expand on that? I love your mentality in managing a team. What have you learned most from your experience being a people manager? You did a great job dissecting that case. Many people tend to gloss over those details, but I like how you emphasize that point X, Y, Z. Great work there. Goes without saying, but all of those are green flags that it's going your way. Most people have a poker face during interviews, so if you're hearing positive reinforcement, if you see them being animated, that means they like you, and being liked is one of the best ways to secure that job. If you wanna learn even more on how to get interviewers to like you, check the link in the description to check out more videos on how to nail your next interview. The next green flag is when they go off script to answer you specific questions related to that role. This means that they're already hooked to what you're saying and really wanna hone in on specific skills and experiences that indicate you're the right person for this team. And here's an example of what it could sound like. What you did in your last project is exactly what we're looking for here, but with a bigger emphasis on project management. Can you expand on your project management skills? Or another one could be, one of our biggest challenges right now is getting our team to use data to drive their decisions. I saw you played a big part in creating that culture in your last project. I'd love to know what would you do here to make that same change? Again, if you're getting questions and comments like that, good signs ahead. Next green flag is a big one. It's if you meet senior leaders on the same day of your interview. This may or may not already be planned, but if the hiring manager is taking you around the office, introducing you to some senior leaders, introducing you to some future team members, that means they're already preparing for what's to come. Bonus tip, this is also a good time for you to do your own assessment and see how people interact. See how people are walking through the office. See how people are interacting with one another. See if people are excited to meet the new team member, AKA you. All of these are valid data points for you to keep in mind when you're making a your decision. If you're catching on to some red flags, make note of that because you do not wanna go into a toxic environment and understanding and studying people is a great way to avoid that. Moving on to the sixth green flag, it's when they start talking to you in the future tense and as if you already work there. You may hear things like, oh, we can't wait for you to get started on that project. The manager likes to give his team a lot of autonomy. I think you'd be a great fit here. You bring a lot of skills that I think we're missing. You bring a lot of value. They are implying it's a done deal. Chances are it will be soon. So you've been getting positive feedback. You're already meeting senior leaders and you start hearing them speak French more, AKA we this, we that. The next green flag is when they start speaking to you about your future commitments. 
if they start asking you when you think you can start, how long your notice period is, what you're expecting in your new role, if you're interviewing anywhere else, green flag, green flag, green flag. Pro tip, if they're asking you about different companies and different interview process, it's always a good idea to let them know that you are shopping around because no one wants someone who is desperate and lacks options. They want somebody who's a hot commodity. And if you are a great talent, other companies will naturally want you as well. You can let them know that you have other interviews planned next week or the following week, but you're very interested in this role and you think it'd be a really great fit moving forward. And when you do that, you can start hearing them pitch a little bit more. You can start feeling them sell themselves a little bit more to you. Another great sign that an offer is coming your way. You don't get to job shop that often in your career, so I really want you to enjoy this process and get as many options as you can. Because the more offers you have, the more leverage you have, and the more salary and total compensation you can get based off of these job offers. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like this one all about upcoming interviews. I'll see you next week. Good luck.